I don't think I've ever seen such a beautiful face watching such a terrible vlog. But today, this vlog is day 657. It's early. Well, no, it's not. It's not early at all. It's actually fairly late. It's like 10 a.m., a little bit later. I want to go for a run before I go meet Jeff and the gang for lunch. I was up as late as one might expect, and I need to get over myself. So let's, I haven't been for a run in a really long time. I need to get back on that horse. So let's go for a run. We'll meet them for lunch. It's going to be a crazy day. It's going to be a busy day. I also need to upgrade my shoes, and I know that I have some shoes downstairs in my garage that are new, thanks to the Arnstons. We also need to get those. It's going to be a day. Lots of little things to try and get done in the midst of playing host and tour guide. So, uh, yeah, they believe they're good on their own this morning. They've got some panel truck a lot. They're set, but I want to go join them as soon as I can. So, uh, let's go for a run. for a really, really quick run because the day's getting off to a late start and I don't want to make them wait for me forever. So uh, let's go. One more thing before we leave though. One last swag bag. The artist has brought me a serious swag bag. The reason that, so the last couple of days I've noticed my legs, especially since Scotland, have been getting kind of tired because I don't think that the shoes that I have are any good anymore, really and they just kind of kill me over time. These guys were kind enough, they got sick of seeing my really ratty red pants, so they brought me individually wrapped pants. These are awesome. I, this is the only thing I snuck a peek at. I did sneak a peek at these, they're pretty sweet. They're gonna be good, these are gonna be great. They're gonna replace my gray boots today, like immediately, brand new. No more slippery death traps. Well, hopefully these don't slip, these might slip in wet, I guess we'll find out. Voila! There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. I read the card, that was the other thing I did. Thank you guys so much. There are Juanitas in here. Juanitas chips, the best tortilla chips possibly ever, which you can't get here, in two different shoe boxes. Is this a hat? Whoa. It's Clothing Central, thank you guys. Oh, and some khaki, oh my gosh, and some collared shirts. I really hope these fit. I don't know what my waist is anymore. Uh, and they did find, they managed to find a 33 waist. Maybe I'm a 33 waist, We're, we'll find out. Thank you so much, you guys, this is so nice of you. This is, this is thematically appropriate. I wish I would have opened this before going for my run. Thank you guys so much. I need to shower and get out of here. I'll dig into this a little bit more later, but thank you so very, very much. In the meantime, Jay needs to shower. I'm having a little bit of an issue because it turns out that getting from Belfast to Galway is not easy. I mentioned last night that uh, the friends I'm gonna go join, I thought were gonna be in Belfast. They're actually gonna be in Galway, which is like five hours away from Belfast. And there's no direct route to get there. You have to go south to Dublin and then over. And the buses take forever. And the, I can't figure out how to book one of the buses because the websites were all breaking. So I just rented a car. Again, attempt number two at renting a car. We will see how this goes. I'm not gonna forget my driver's license this time. I cannot. The other problem is I kind of want to wear my baseball hat, but it's still kind of beanie season, but it's still kind of a little bit too warm for the beanie, but I need something to cover my head because it's sunny outside and I think I got a little sunburned yesterday. That's my other story. You know, we'll figure it out as we go. I also figured out that, yeah, uh, definitely like a 32 waist at the most. Definitely not 33, 33 was, I don't know how my waist got so small. It's ridiculous. Anywho. Let's get out of here. <laughs> managed to walk right past you somehow. Uh -oh. I walked all the way down the other way. It's so cute. Hello. Oh. <laughs> He's not as good. We'll grab a coffee and then. These guys want to go see Notre Dame, so that is what is next on the docket, assuming we don't get hit by any cars along the way. 
tourist time. And then tonight, what I forgot to mention was we're actually going to John Eves for his experience tonight, which should be, let's see, don't want to get hit by cars. Should be really good. I've been making a video for him about that as well. So combinations all over the place. still probably my favorite church in the city. I think this is number one. Sacre-Cœur is easily number two, but it's really hard to beat this one. Jeff's the lead photographer. We left Rose and Manny back at Saint-Chapelle so they could go see the stained glass. And these guys just wanted to go sit down somewhere. I'm gonna go drop off the disposable camera number four to get developed. Elaine is the one that won it. The whole thing, it's hers. And when she told me what she wanted me to do with it was actually to take it, get it developed, and then make the uh, make the prints available as digital downloads, but only in exchange for donations to my travel fund, which is very generous of her. So thank you, Elaine, I appreciate that. I just need to go get them developed first. She even actually sent me cash to pay for them to get developed. It's crazy. Too much. You're too nice. So, gonna go get that done and then uh, we'll see what comes of them and I'll make high, the full resolution versions available for download for like, she wanted me to do a minimum of $5 donation. I just gotta figure out how to make that happen. Oh, oh cool. That's, this is the first building that blew your mind, is that what you're saying? I don't know, just uh, something nice about it. I mean, Notre Dame, of course, is cool, but it's just another gothic church. That I don't know. Just <laughs> different buildings for different folks, man. It's one of the most underrated days too. So. Yeah, that's fair. It's one of the most underrated buildings in the city, though, by far. And done. Just that easy. These guys are great. I really do like this store. Okay, I'm gonna head to the Old Alliance, see if Jeff's even made it that far. He's in super photography mode, which is great. I'm actually really enjoying it. It's fun to see them enjoying the city. I tend to take the city very much for granted now. Uh, I love it. I live here though, so I go on about my business most of the time, and so it's really, really fun to have friends come visit and appreciate all the things that sometimes I forget to appreciate, or at least to take the time to enjoy. And, and these guys are kind of chill, moving through the city slowly, just enjoying themselves in such a good way that, I don't know, it's very nice to see the city through their eyes. So we're gonna grab a beer here. I think we'll take some drinks down to the river, sit down by the river. If Lurk is still there, we'll join her. Ran into her uh, just a minute ago. I don't know if I actually captured that on film or not. And then we've got Jean-Yves this evening. And then the Eiffel Tower is sparkling at night and that is a very full day. Yo. Had a couple of beers in there. Jeff and crew left to go uh, take a quick break in the hotel. It's understandable. They're a little bit tired. I got a little bit of work done. Left the old alliance, obviously, and now I'm on my way to John Eves a little early. Film a little bit in there as he cooks, and then uh, I'll go film during the experience as well. Make a video for him. Make a video for me. Oh yeah, it's a lot of video today. I've, I've filmed way too much, and I don't know what I've even gotten out of it. Hopefully, it's something at least moderately worthwhile. I have more. I don't even know. Thank you. 
so full right now. Oh my god.